would love to be with someone like her, but she never ever got into an inappropriate relationship. Never, never did she touch a man she's not supposed to touch. Ahsanat Farja, very respectful lady, never got into the haram. May Allah make our relationships halal. Ameen Rabbil Alameen. Brothers and sisters, Maryam's status and closeness to Allah continued to grow and become stronger. So much so. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Zakariya alayhi salam was supposed to take care of Maryam and all that good stuff. He would walk into her sanctuary, her place of worship. He finds food, drink, provisions. He did not supply that to her. He is shocked. How is it possible you have this food? How did you get that? Zakariya alayhi salam. He has like a 24-7 service for Maryam alayhi Anytime he, she calls him, she needs him, he comes right away. He's always there, security, everything. The top-notch college, right? Zakaria alayhi salam, how did he get this? And the food you're getting is not even its season. Like this is a miraculous miracle over miracle. So Maryam, she tells her teacher, Zakaria, she says, huwa min indillah. You see this? It's from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No human being was involved in the process. It's from Allah. Inna Allah yarzuku man yasha'u bi ghayri hisab. Allah gives whoever he wants without limit, without accountability. And here, brothers and sisters, do you notice something? Allah is showing Maryam. Allah is showing Zakaria and the people how Allah can deliver food, can deliver drink, can deliver provisions to Maryam, to her place, without any human being involved in the process. And as she continued to worship Allah, she prayed and supplicated her work ethics as a whole next level. You might say, man, that's a lot of work, a lot of effort to pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Can I please do an emergency landing right now and talk about our times for a second? You hear about athletes in our time playing right now. They spend one point five million dollars on their body to maintain a healthy condition to play basketball right and you hear about these athletes you hear about an, a soccer player who works so hard to be who he is and he grows and grows and grows Maryam alayhi salam the better example she prays to Allah to grow in her faith to draw closer and closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but brothers and sisters her closest to Allah is not normal. It's above average. It's above ev any woman so far. Brothers and sisters, besides the wife of Pharaoh Asya, may Allah be pleased by her. What happened? When Maryam was, was in her sanctuary, someone was calling her name. Ya Maryam. There's no one here. Ya Maryam. Oh Maryam. Who is it? It was the angels. Maryam reached a level where the angels are communicating with her. Allahu Akbar. وَإِذْ قَالَتِ الْمَلَائِكَةُ يَا مَرْيَمْ The angel said, O oh Maryam, إِنَّ اللَّهَ اصْطَفَاكَ Allah has favored you. Allah has chosen you. Yes, the way she is, is indeed special. وَطَهَّرَكَ And Allah purified you. Right, check this out. Ready? وَاصْطَفَاكَ and Allah is going to favor you again in a way that he never favored any woman in the world like this before. What's that second upgrade of choosing and favoring? You will see that shortly. But that's the fruit of working so hard. Brothers and sisters, one day as Maryam alayhi salam, she leaves her place of worship, her sanctuary. And usually she does not leave unless it's a necessity. She's studying, she's worshiping Allah, doing dhikr, remembrance of God. One day she leaves and goes a distance away from the holy temple, Bayt al-Maqdis, away from the people. And all of a sudden, she, as she was all alone, an unknown man approaches her. Okay, what just happened? Who are you? She says, Inni a'udhu bil-Rahmani minka in kunta taqiyya. 
إذا بتخاف الله لا تقرب If you fear Allah, don't come close to me If you fear Allah, get away from me I seek Allah the most merciful protection She feels like, were you following me? How did you come here? How did I not notice you from the beginning? إني أعوذ بالرحمن I seek God's protection And sometimes to know the true color of people is during hardship And she remembered God right away قال, This man spoke قال, إنما, You know who I am? I am a messenger from God, from the one you're asking help from. I'm a messenger from him. What do you want? So I can grant you, so I can be the means in which you will have a pure, wonderful, wonderful child. Wonderful child? How can I be blessed with a child no man ever touched me and I've never done anything like haram or anything like that for me to have a child Jibril السلام, the angel says will it is so will it be there's, there's not, it's not an option Maryam your lord said it is easy on Allah to do that Okay, what's the wisdom? Like, why would I be pregnant without having a husband? Like this mir miracle pregnancy, why? Do you guys know why? Someone asks you, why would Allah do that? Do we know in the Quran, Allah says, وَلِنَجْعَلَهُ آيَةً لِلنَّاسِ So Isa ibn Maryam, or the child that she will have, so he can be a sign for humanity, alama. So that people can see Allah's strength. So people can see how Allah is all capable. Allah Qadir, Allah can do anything. And he can get a child. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can have a woman deliver a child without that woman having a man or a husband. Allahu Akbar. What's the other wisdom? And this child she will have will be a means of mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He will be a blessing to the world. And Jibreel blew the soul Allah assisted into Maryam alayha salam. Brothers and sisters, that blow reaches the womb of Maryam. فحملت. She became pregnant. She conceived that child. Brothers and sisters, when she got pregnant, she was very concerned. She was so concerned as, as to what the people will say. How will she handle this test? And some narrations suggested that she was recognized eventually after a couple of months, two, three, five, six months, that you know what, the signs of pregnancy. So someone asked her, someone righteous asked Maryam. He said, Maryam, how can there be a plant without a seed? How can there be a plant Without a seed, this man, that person is indicating you being pregnant. How? So Maryam alayha salam, she tells this guy, tells this person, just like how Allah created Adam without parents. Allah does not need a seed to create a plant. Allah can create a plant without a seed. Brothers and sisters, and the due date was approaching. Her stomach grew, Maryam alayhi salam. Nine months pregnancy like any other woman. فَانْتَبَذَتْ بِهِ مَكَانًا قَصِيًّا Maryam alayhi salam withdrew to an away, far away, remote place, away from the sight of people. All of a sudden, the contractions started to take place. فَأَجَاءَهَا الْمَخَاضُ إِلَىٰ جِذْعِ النَّخْلَةِ the pain of the labor caused her to go all the way to the palm tree. She's resting. She's going through that labor process. May Allah have mercy on every mother who delivered. May Allah have mercy on them. May Allah forgive all their shortcomings for that hardship that they went through. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Maryam alayhi salam struggling and struggling. And all of that, she's going through this hardship. She's wondering, can I pass this test? Can I do this? And look what she says. I wish 
as she was going through the contractions, she said, I wish I was dead. I wish and I wish that I would never be known and I would always be forgotten. I like how she was so reserved. I guess the mother did a great job raising her and um person that also helped Teresa also did a great job by providing everything and educating her. Um it should be it's always a personal choice as to how you want to turn out in life. Because she could have after growing up she could have said, you know what, I don't want this for myself anymore but her mother dedicated her to God and through her life she also gave herself to God willingly. That's how life is. When you do something willingly, you enjoy it. You make it your own. It's all about you and no one else. You never hear someone forcing you, you never hear someone speaking otherwise. It's just you and God that must that matters at this point in time and nothing else. And I mean, it should be an example to a lot of us, not just women, but men as well. But it should really be an example that we look at or give our future children. Otherwise, I'm really, really enjoying this. And there's so much information. It's so interesting to listen to this. I've never listened to the story of Mary like this before. Anyway, let's get to the last part of this. <laughs>